Hello everyone, welcome to IP Plus Academy for Civil Services. This is a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. The most important news and editorial of the day that is relevant for both prelims and mains examination perspective will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with the news topic list. Today is 10th of September. The first news that is President launched PM TB Mukt Abhiyan. Second, center banned export of broken rice amid the domestic demand which is rising. Third, survey find poor skill in the regional languages. Fourth, Supreme Court take up pleas against the Pledge of Versic Act. And the last is an editorial that a TB Mukt India. So these are some of the important news and editorial for the day. Apart from this, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based question. And this question will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before that, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe at Plus Academy for Service Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful for your examination, do not forget to press the like button. So starting the session, the first news that is President launched PM TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan something relevant for general studies paper 2 that is welfare schemes for the vulnerable section of the population at the center and it is also important in the same paper that is in general studies paper 2 issues related to development and management of it so it's a big announcement by the government so recently the president of india has launched the pradhan mantri tb mukt bharat abhiyan this is going to be relevant for your prelims examination also and even if you're writing mains examination now moving forward, the mission aims to achieve a goal of tuberculosis elimination by 2025. This is five years before the actual target, the global target that is made by other countries. Or Sara countries need 2030 target kiye, but India has said that we'll be achieving it by 2025. So again, a good uh, decision taken by India, and even we have to achieve this milestone by the dedicated timeline. The Pradhan Mantri TV Mukt Bharat Abhiyan will provide a community support to all those who are suffering from the tuberculosis diseases. So the efforts has to be made by all the stakeholders. We'll understand the details about this as well. But today's the editorial is in detail in my discussion. So stay tuned till end of this video so that you get a comprehensive idea about this policies and government intervention and government inclinations. Now the treatment, its treatment is effective and accessible by the government, provide free of cost facilities for the prevention and treatment of the tuberculosis diseases. Now Niksha 2.0 is again an important portal. The president has launched the Niksha Mitra initiative that will ensure the additional diagnostic, nutritional supplements and vocational support. So this is important. Hai. Jo is bar ke Niksha 2.0 hai usme add ki gai hai. The initiative will encourage the elected representative, corporates, NGO, individual who come forward for the donations to help the patients towards their journey of recovery. So this is single most important news for you for the prelims examination purposes. Now Niksha 2.0 portal will facilitate in providing an additional patient supports to improve the treatment outcome of all the TB patients, augmenting their community involvement in meeting with India's commitment to overcome TB by 2025, right? So, Joby individual CSR, the corporate social responsibility, hai, which is a part of Companies Act 2013, so their contributions in this scheme, ke bhi kar sakte, right? So this is again very important. I think you have understand it well. Now, nutritional support care baat kare. under the program, a monthly food basket comprises 3 kg of rice. This is for an individual, 1.5 kg of pulses, 250 grams of vegetables cooking oil, 1 kg of milk or 6 liter of milk or 1 kg of groundnut that has been recommended for the TB patients, right? And apart from it, 30 eggs can also be added to the basket. So this is what in terms of nutritional support that government is providing and any individual, any corporation can also play a significant role in overcoming all these challenges. Now, just to get you an idea of what is tuberculosis, because you should know basics, even in examination, they can directly ask you about the diseases as well, right? 
So what is tuberculosis? TB, which is commonly known as TB, is an infectious disease that affects our lung. Mostly the lungs is affected and other part of the body like spine, brain and kidney. Right? As a part of the global community, let's spread awareness, one of the world most deadliest infections killer. You can see how it gradually built up. Or kis se is tuberculosis ke advancement hoti body mein. The first stage is called the infection initial stage which is again followed by the latent stage. You can see that damage here you know, comparing with the first images. And the last is the advanced version is called recurrent diseases in which most of the lungs is affected. Now other big question for the examination purpose is Kis tarah si hai, kaun si aisi bacteria, kaun si aisi virus hai, to microbacterium, jo bacteria hai, uske through ye failthi. This is infection disease, this is called microbacterium tuberculosis. And what is the mode of infection? The basic mode of infection is through sneezing, direct contact via any form of droplets can cause a tuberculosis. So these are some of the very basics about the tuberculosis. Now, agar baat kare, patients kitne hai across the world, so India, is a country which has the highest number of tuberculosis patients, which is 27%. Uske baad, the other country hai, that is China, followed by Indonesia, Philippines, Pakistan, Nigeria, Bangladesh, and South Africa. Right? At least, you should top three countries. Yaad hone the first is India, followed by China and Indonesia. Now, the number of people that is suffering in the world from tuberculosis is 1 crore. A total number of people suffering from India is 26.9 lakh. Right? Abhi data, jo current ki data, wo bhi mein aapko bataunga, jo ministries ne di hai. The death of the tuberculosis uh, fell from 1.6 million in 2017 to 1.5 million. Although, bhoa sari global efforts bhi ki gai hai by WHO and even more other organization. But again, as far as India is concerned, we need to take more holistic approach to overcome this problem. Now, TB patients ki ka data ki baat kare, as far as the official sources, a total of 13,51,611 TB patients are presently undergoing with the treatment and 8,95,111 8 has been given with the consent to be adopted till September 2022, right? So this is a present data that is coming from the Ministry of basically Health. So they have categorically stated this data. Now, target for TB eradications, government kis tarah se aage badi ki? According to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, if we SDG goals, ki baat kare, as per the SDG goal, all nations have set to eradicate tuberculosis by 2030. So this is the timeline that is set by all the countries. But as far as Government of India is concerned, they have set a target that will be eradicating TB by 2025. So this efforts will be made possible and even for all the purposes, to achieve this target, we need the stakeholder support also. Government is doing their level best. But here are the participations of other people and stakeholders. Ke se aa sakti hai. Moving to the other news, that is center banned export of broken rice amid the domestic demand rise. Something important for general studies paper too, that is government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from it, design and implementations. So the union government recently announced a ban on the export of broken rice and even not only ban, government has also imposed a 20% duty on the export of non-basmati rice amid the concern over the low production due to fall in the area of the paddy crop. Recently, I have discussed with you that in which the paddy ke jo overall uh, production area is or the total cultivation in India is reduced. Even you can check that video. So, when you write answers, you can read both news and both content. Ek ek sakte. The export of the broken rice has rose up by 4178% during April from August and it was corresponding for the same period 2019. India ki agar export broken rice ki baat kare, this mainly to China, Sengel, Vietnam, Djibouti and Indonesia. So these are the country which mostly uh, we export to them, right? And these are the country, are the importing countries. Now it export around 21.31 lakh ton of the broken rice in the past five years. We have the data also. So drop in the rice productions ki agar baat kare, first we look into the data. 
basmati rice export ki agar baat kare see this is the data for 2017 18 for the current it is 3.53 it has been seen that 10 to 12 million ton of the drop has been seen in the rice production in this fiscal due to deficit in the rainfall into rainfall ki kami ki wajah se over productions mein kam hui hai and such states include uh, which has the less production include uttar pradesh bihar odisha and west bengal now some rationale behind this decision government why the government has decided to uh, basically ban the export of the rice and even to increase the duty so the secretary department of food and public distribution has said that the move would ensure adequate availability of the broken rice for our domestic purposes right chahe wo domestic poultry industries ho ya fir feed animal feed dog industries ho unke liye and even for the production of ethanol and the ethanol blending program government is already commitment to ensure the process of ethanol blending we have also achieved the 10% target right to ise bhi aur aage lekar ke jaane ki zarurat hai this is again uh, something which government is committed with now the country was likely to witness a shortfall of about 6% of the area and the productions of paddy during the ongoing kharif seasons now there has been the rise in the global demand as i have told you at the broken rise due to a geopolitical scenario which has impacted the movement of commodities so here i would like to give you an example of ukraine यूक्रेन और रशिया के बीच में जिस तरह से वार हो रही है उसकी इम्पैक्ट ओवरऑल प्रोडक्शंस में भी बेसिकली जो लॉजिस्टिक सपोर्ट्स या फिर जो फूड सप्लाई चेन है उसमें काफी ज्यादा इम्पैक्ट हुई है सर्वे फाइंड पुअर स्किल्स इन द रीजनल लैंग्वेजेस समथिंग इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जनरल स्टडीज पेपर टू दैट इज इशूज रिलेटेड टू डेवलपमेंट एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज so according to the survey which was recently carried out by the union education ministry union education ministry ke sath sath ncert ne milke ek survey kiya hai which has found that the foundational learning of student in hindi is poor right unki performance is poor but agar regional languages ki baat kare in some state it was even worse so this is again a concern because agar new education policy ki baat kare nep 2020 that has already envisaged that the mother tongue should also be emphasized for the learning process now the survey provide the baseline for the government nipun program mai aapko nipun program ke bare mein detail mein bataunga in the later part of the video now the survey will help the government to determine the benchmark in 20 languages and as per the national education policies it advocate that three languages ki zarurat hai har ek bachche ko basically till their 5 and 6 7 class and even two languages to the native language दो ऐसे लैंग्वेज जो नेटिव होने चाहिए और एक कोई एडवांस लैंग्वेज बच्चा सीख सकता है सो दिस इज समथिंग एनविसाइज इन द न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ऑफ द नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी नाउ द मीडियम ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन एट क्लास फाइव एट लीस्ट फॉर क्लास फाइव प्रेफरेबली टिल क्लास एट शुड बी मदर टंग आफ्टर विच इट कैन बी टॉट विद अदर लैंग्वेजेस राइट कुछ और फाइंडिंग की बात करें सर्वे में जो की गई है फाउंड दैट 53% of the class 3 student in 18 student have surveyed in hindi proficiency are either lacked and has limited knowledge of the skill in reading comprehending of the language but in terms of proficiency of the regional language ye analyze kiya gaya ki state like maharashtra andhra pradesh karnataka and kerala where was poor where 59% this number is 59% student either lack or display limited skill right so this is only because the emphasis was not given at the elementary level right and around 67% of student would not perform well in assamis in assam so this is again a concern agar assam aur meghalaya ki baat kare to assamis ki agar baat ki jaye wahan ke student ko 67% student aise the jo assamis nahi likh pa rahe the bol pa rahe comprehend kar pa rahe now in kerala 56% of the student could not read and comprehend malayalam and in the goa 659% uh, even do not know konkani so this is something uh, the concern coming from the states now talking about meghalaya 61% of the student do not perform well in kasi and 54% were found poorer in manipur language manipuri language which is specially native to manipur so these are some of the basic essential data given you can take the screenshot of this so that you can use in your mains answer Now, survey uh, basically कर बात करें survey divides learner on the basis of the language चार categories में divide की गई हैं इस पर द सर्वे सो फर्स्ट दोज हु लैक 
for and those who have limited language and other who have preference or sufficient knowledge and one who has superior knowledge to char categories hain pehli category lack walo ki hai dusri jinko limited knowledge hai third jinko sufficient knowledge hai and fourth is a category who has a good knowledge or superior knowledge so finding are the part of the national report on the benchmarking of oral reading fluency with the reading comprehension and numeracy jo ki numeracy ki agar baat kare these are some of the part of the national education policies and even it aims to access the foundational learning of the children at the end of class 3 to so, abhi tak agar jis tarah se data pai gayi hai class 3 ke bachche itne efficient nahi payenge the government has launched nipun as the national mission to enable the child to end at the end of the class 3 to attain the functional skill by the year this is बाई ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन गवर्नमेंट ने कहा है कि क्लास थ्री के सारे बच्चों को हमें निपुण करना है एंड बेसिकली दे हैव टू बी अवेयर ऑफ द बेसिक लैंग्वेज नोमेरिस स्किल एन अदर पार्ट राइट सो द बेंच मार्क विल प्रोवाइड अ बेस लाइन फॉर सब्सिक्वेंट सर्वे तो निपुण अगर इनिशिएटिव की बात करें क्या क्या बेसिकली कोर एसेंस रखी गई निपुण की वी न्यू टू दो आई बी गिविंग यूर डिटेल अबाउट द निपुण एज वेल सो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन विल लीड द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द नेशनल इनिशिएटिव फॉर द प्रोफेंसी इन रीडिंग विद अंडरस्टैंडिंग द न्यूमेरेसी विच इज नोन एज निपुन भारत राइट और इसके साथ साथ जो मिशन ऑफ मिशन ऑन फंक्शनल लिटरेसी है न्यूमेरेसी है उस पर भी ध्यान रखी गई है सो वॉट इज नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी रिकमेंड दिस मिशन फर्स्ट इट विल हेल्प चिल्ड्रेन टू लर्न द कम्प्रीहेंशन राइट सेकेंड हेल्प चिल्ड्रेन अंडरस्टैंड नंबर्स मेजरमेंट एंड सेफ एंड just to remind you this is all this knowledge has to be given by class 3 right and use play activity based pedagogy teach children in the home languages provide high quality teaching material to engage children build capacity in teaching for academic resources person and edu- administrator and even track children's learning level consistency and conduct meaningful assessment using poll quiz and games so these are some of the methodology main salient features that has been recommended under the new education policy 2020 now the supreme court take up as plea uh, against the place of worship act something relevant for general studies paper 2 that is structure organization and functions of executive and judiciary so recently the supreme court has posted of hearing before three judges जो प्ली थी बेसिकली कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल वेलिडिटी को लेकर के उसको ट्रांसफर की गई एंड दिस वाज विद रिगार्ड्स टू द प्लेस ऑफ वर्सिव दैट इज द स्पेशल स्पेशल प्रोविजन एक्ट ऑफ 1991 सो द बेंच वाज हेडेड बाय द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया हु हैज आस्क्ड द सेंटर टू फाइल अ रिस्पांस विद दिस प्ली विद इन 2 वीक्स नाउ इट हैज नोटेड दैट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज नॉट येट फाइल्ड एनी रिस्पांस टू द प्लीज व्हिच नोटिस इशूड लास्ट ईयर आल्सो तो अभी ये वेटिंग है चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया हेडिंग ऑल दिस प्लीज हैव डेफिनेटली आस्क द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट टू फाइल देयर रिस्पॉन्सेस विद इन टू वीक्स क्या डिमांड की गई है इस प्ले के अंदर सो द प्ली हैज चैलेंज दैट द प्लेस ऑफ वर्सिप द प्लेस ऑफ वर्सिप सेंग दैट द एक्ट टेक अवेज द राइट्स ऑफ हिंदू जैन बुद्धिस्ट एंड सिक्स टू रिस्टोर देयर प्लेस ऑफ वर्क एंड प्लेजेस दैट वॉज डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय द इन्वेटर्स सो they have challenged this particular rule and the apex court has issued notice to the center on plea challenging the act it further jo plea mein further kya baat hi kahi gayi hai that the act blatantly offend the right of hindus jain muslim and sikhs to restore manage maintain and administer their place of worship which is even guaranteed under article 26 of the indian constitution so if you're writing in mains paper you need to highlight all this specific point The plea said that the act violates the principle of secularism, and section two and section three, section four of the act, that was the right to approach to the court and even right to judicial remedy that has been closed. Right now, looking into the aspect of section three and section four, ये क्या कहती है? This act bars the conversion of the place of the worship and states that no person shall convert convert any place of worship or any religious denominations. or any section thereof place of worship for different section of the same religious denomination or different religious denomination of the same section so let's see laws are written in a typical words i'm just reading word by word but you to just make you understand isme kaha gaya hai ki koi bhi person person shall not convert any place of worship or any religious denominations so yahan pe jo khas karke prohibition jis tarah se ki gayi hai 
उसको चैलेंज किया गया सुप्रीम कोर्ट में एंड वॉट इज अक्शन फोर इट बार्स फिलिंग अप एनी शूट इनिशिएशन ऑफ एनी लीगल प्रोसीडिंग और कन्वर्जन ऑफ द रिलीजियस कैरेक्टर ऑफ एनी वर्क प्लेस और एग्जिस्टिंग ऑन द नाइन फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन राइट तो किसी भी तरह से चेंजेस को भी बांट किया गया विच इज अगेन अ प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस गारंटीज आर ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइडेड अंडर आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नाउ द प्लेस ऑफ वर्सिव एक्ट नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन इज वॉइड एंड अन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन राइट एंड इट हैज बुद्धिस्ट सिख प्लेस एंड इवन प्रैक्टिस प्रोपोगेट द रिलीजन विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी फाइव सो द प्लेस इज एक्ट इज समथिंग विच इज अगेन गोइंग टू बी रेलिवेंट फॉर योर मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन तो आप उस पर्पज से भी उस कंटेक्स में जरूर इसको समझें ना मूविंग टू द एडिटोरियल ऑफ द डे दैट इज अ टी बी मुक्त इंडिया समथिंग रेलिवेंट फॉर जनरल स्टडीज पेपर टू दैट इज द इशूज रिलेटेड टू डेवलपमेंट एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ हेल्थ so what is the theme of this editorial the theme of this editorial is tb free india roadmap and i'll be simplifying this editorial under four important subheads that is nikshay poshan uh, abhiyan or yojana aim of nikshay poshan treatment of tuberculosis and government measures so starting mein jo humne news discuss kiya uske sath isko complement kar sakte hain supplement kar sakte hain to get a complete idea Now recently the president of India has launched the Pradhan Mantri TB Mukta Abhiyan and the mission aims to achieve a goal of tuberculosis elimination by 2025 we have already discussed this now moving ahead with other important part so prime minister ne kaha hai there should be emphasis on important role of the jan bhagidari that is a people participation in solving the critical problem and to build a prosperous nations The government of India has set an ambitious goal, making TB free by 2025, as per the SDG goals, right? And five years ahead of the global target to eliminate the disease. Now, next year, portion योजना की अगर बात करें, the government has launched this portal under the aegis of National TB Elimination Program to support the nutritional need of the TB patients. And under the scheme, 62 lakh patients have received the financial amount, and this is to 1000. 1,651 करोड़ रुपीस सिंस 2018 तो इतने अमाउंट जो हैं वो अभी तक गवर्नमेंट ने डिस्पर्स किया हुआ है एंड दिस इंक्लूड अ ट्रांसफर ऑफ 500 डायरेक्टली टू द बैंक अकाउंट ऑफ द पेशेंट और द गवर्नमेंट हैज बीन वर्किंग डायरेक्टली टू प्रोवाइड डायग्नोस्टिक फ्री मेडिसिन एंड अदर सपोर्ट वो हैव बीन अफेक्टेड बाय द डिजीजेस सो दीस आर सम ऑफ द मेजर फीचर्स ऑफ द नेक्स्ट शेप पोशन योजना Now, aim क्या है इस योजना की और इस पोषण अभियान की द इनिशियटिव इंटेंस टू प्रोवाइड एडिशनल न्यूट्रिशनल सपोर्ट एंड इवन टू द टी बी पेशेंट टू ओवरकम द प्रॉब्लम एंड स्टिग्मा दैट इज रिलेटेड टू दिस थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सपोर्ट इज एसेंशियल इन दिस रिगार्ड द फर्स्ट इज दैट किट कंटेन अप्रोप्रिएशन फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशनल सपोर्ट बाय फॉर्मिंग द न्यूट्रिशनल रीड मैंने आपको बास्केट बताई किस तरह से बास्केट में फूड आइटम्स बताए जाएंगे यू कैन चेक द इनिशियल डिस्कशन ऑफ दिस second support to the additional lab uh, based diagnostic requirement and third is equipping patients with vocational skills to help them to join workforce like prosperous and productive life now under this initiative individual organization corporates cooperatives like leaders ngo can provide a support to the tb patient this is this will be also a part under the csr corporate social responsibility which is under the companies act 2030 now treatment of tb patients ki agar baat kare so there is a uh, drug that is called multi resistance drug badiquinine is like uh, for the treatment of this tb and both tb infections and disease are curable as us using antibiotics and it is treated with a 6 month standard course of four uh, antibiotics drugs that include rifampicin and isoniazid so ye kuch important drugs hain तो आप अगर एग्जाम में पूछा जाए कौन कौन से ड्रग के से रिलेटेड है फिर बिंग आज दैट आइसोनाइजेड क्या चीज के रिलेटेड है जो रिफम पिक्सिन है किस से, से काम में आती है तो आप इस तरह के चीजों को मैच द कॉलम में भी देख सकते हैं द गवर्नमेंट मेजर्स की अगर बात करें द नेशनल टीवर कोलिस एलिमिनेशन प्रोग्राम दैट इज द नेशनल स्ट्रेटेजिक प्लान टू एलिमिनेट टीवी अंडर द पिलर डिटेक्ट ट्रीट प्रिवेंट एंड बेल्ट दिस इज कॉल्ड डी टी पी बी राइट यूनिवर्सल इम्यूनाइजेशन प्रोग्राम भी गवर्नमेंट ने रखी है रिवाइज टीवी कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम्स लाई गई अंडर द नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन 
निक्षेप पोर्टल के बारे में हैव डिस्कस्ड यू इन डिटेल सो दैट इज अदर पार्ट टीबी सैंपल नेटवर्क एंड द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नेशनल फ्रेमवर्क फॉर जेंडर रिस्पॉन्सिव अप्रोच टू द टीबी सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट गवर्नमेंट मेजर्स एंड इंटरवेंशन टू इंश्योर दैट द टीबी पेशेंट्स आर वेल टेकन केयर ऑफ एंड टू एलिमिनेट टीबी बाय 2025 दिस एफर्ट इज एसेंशियल रिक्वायर्ड एंड टू अ लार्जर एक्सटेंड we as an individual we as in society also need to be the volunteer in this and even the companies the other stakeholders can even contribute to overcome this problem right now moving to the mcq questions of the day before i proceed just to tell you the answers of yesterday questions for first question the correct option is c for second question also the correct option is c today's mcq for practice aapko batana hai o smart ke bare mein it's regulated the use of ocean marine resources sustainable development strategic partnership with iea to promote transparency in the jute sector liquid liquidity risk monitoring tool of the stock market so do check it out for the correct option the second question of the day with reference to international energy agency consider the following statement the world energy outlook report is released by iea annually and india is not an associate member of iea so if you know the correct answer is well and good if not do check it out for the correct options so this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the mcq questions if you have any other concern you can let me know i'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching this video